Live from Aunt Betty's studio in Carson City, Nevada. From First Presbyterian Church, where we are opening the gospel to Carson City and beyond. It's the, the Mary and Sherry Show. <laughs> Woohoo! Good morning, Mary. Good chilly morning, Sherry. Boy, isn't it? It's kind of a special week. We have winter for one. Yay! Yesterday was two twenty-two twenty-two. Tuesday. Tuesday. I had not one but two cousins who got married yesterday. One from my father's side of the family. I was in. I was the matron of honor in that one. Wow. And that was here at the courthouse. And then another friend back in Pennsylvania. Another. I mean, cousin back in Pennsylvania took advantage of that day. But this whole week is palindrome week. So today is two, two, three, two, two. It's very numerical math-oriented week. And well, I think we might see a little more of that coming I up a little we later. I just might. That's pretty interesting, actually. I wasn't even thinking that. Yeah, two, 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 wait. Two, three, two, two. Yeah. How amazing. Right? Pretty cool. Very amazing. But it is also cold, so stay warm out there. Stay safe on the roads. Drive careful. Yes. All right, well, listen, I uh, want to give a couple of shout-outs today. First, to Mona R.C., thank you so much for watching. Thank you for leaving comments. We appreciate hearing back from you. Thanks, Mona. And also, I want to give a special shout-out to Lou Holly's sister, Jan, whom I met this weekend, and it was just so much fun meeting her. Um, just enjoyed your company, and thank you for watching and, and being supportive of us. So. Thank you, Thanks. Jan. <laughs> i got to go to Israel with her. Really? Yeah, she's an awesome lady. Oh, that's cool. Neat. <laughs> Very neat. All right, what else is going on? Well, our Belize mission trip is leaving next week, March 2nd. So we are asking for prayers for them traveling to and from and while they're there. Thank you so much, everyone who has donated so many items for this trip. And we also like to give a shout out to our local sport, sporting goods store, Blue Zone Sports, who donated four huge boxes of flip flops. We really, really, really appreciate you up down there, Dina. Thank you very, very much. They will be well used. Very cool. Very cool. All right. Nice. Well, onward to? Prior to that, this coming Sunday, right after services, weather permitting, we're going to meet over on the East Lawn, right off of Nevada Street, to burn the palms from last Palm Sunday for the ashes. It's a very dirty, smelly time, because that represents our sin. You know? Yeah, and, that's, uh, that's a good way to describe it. it and, and so it's because our sin is stinky in the sight of the Lord. And, in yeah, it is stinky. Yeah. Um, so we're going to do that right after service on the lawn, weather permitting. And then that leads right into March 2nd. I cannot believe March 2nd is almost here, or just March. Um, March 2nd is Ash Wednesday. There will be a <laughs> service at 7 p.m. in the sanctuary. Where they normally are. Yes. <laughs> So come all you stinky people. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. <laughs> all right. And also coming up uh, is the Road to the Cross. So uh, for everyone who has signed up to help with Road to the Cross, they're going to have an information kind of organizational meeting. And that will be March 6th, right after service. And let me see here. So grab your coffee, grab your snack. And then head on into the library is where they're going to have that meeting to set up Road to the Cross. All and right. Thank you all for volunteering for that because that's a really amazing Easter week event. It is. And there's still time to volunteer. If you have not yet volunteered, please feel free to do so. Yay! So, Mary, we, we just moments ago talked about this being a very mathematical uh, week. Yes. So I, I think in continuation of that... Let's take a look at this. Did you know that March 14th is Pi Day? No, I didn't. I love pie. A P-I-E or P-I? P-I. Oh, P-I. Could we review P-I? Yes. What is P-I? What it's, is pie? It's, it's something to do with a circle. Oh, yeah. 
and good stuff in the circle. It's the ratio of the circumference to the diameter that equals pi. They took the circumference of a circle, which is the distance round circle, divided it by the diameter, and they kept getting this stupid number, 3.14159 dot, dot, dot. Do you know what dot, dot, dot means? More Mary, numbers? I had to as a student. Do you remember what <laughs> dot, dot, I dot I don't meant? understand. I was told to bring a fork. I, I, I can't remember the dot. It, it, it means... It, it goes on forever and ever. It's a non-terminating, non-repeating decibel. Isn't that interesting? Yes, Mr. Glansman. Call me Dwayne. Yes, Mr. Glansman. Oh, it's obvious <laughs> you're not getting pie. I'm becoming very frustrated. <laughs> I'm frustrated too. I was told to bring a fork. Uh, well, and I don't I'm understand. trying to understand. Well, it's obvious you're not getting pie. It's called an irrational number. <laughs> it's irrational to you. It you is better, irrational. <laughs> you better stick to PIE instead of PI. Yes, sir. I like that. So, my friends, this is very important. In honor of Pi Day, which is actually Monday the 14th, on Sunday, March 13th, everyone bring your favorite pie. You can make it, you can buy it, and we will have them after church in the Family Life Center. Just bring them right into the kitchen right before you go into service and be ready with a fork. <laughs> Speaking of eating, we have our next <laughs> Friendship Suppers coming up. That's happening April 1st and April 2nd. So you have about a month out for that. That's a Friday and a Saturday. Oh, hey, sign-ups begin on Pi Day or the day before Pi Day, March 13th. Uh, you can talk to Diane Young or Sandy Ayersman for that. Uh, like I said, April 1st, April 2nd, also Saturday, April 2nd, we're having another crafting day. More information on that to follow very soon. Happy days. Yeah. So that's awesome. So on March 13th, you eat all that pie, and then you have about a month to work it off for the friendship suppers. <laughs> <laughs> See how everything is so organized? <laughs> All right, also another fellowship opportunity is next Friday, March 4th. Come on down to the church and watch the classic Rooster Cogburn with your popcorn. See Catherine Hepburn, John Wayne battle the multitude of evil bad guys. <laughs> and there are many. And that's 6.30 <laughs> in the Family Life Center. And yes, there'll be popcorn, snacks, drinks, uh, trivia, uh, raffle, prizes. Awesome. So. Come on down. Come on down and see Rooster Cogburn next Friday night. Woohoo! All right. Wow. This yep. one is important, Sherry. This is really important. So I'm going to read it just so I get it right. We are looking for a new music director. If you are or you know someone who is interested and capable of serving as director of music ministry. <laughs> the job is posted on the church's website. We're looking forward to seeing how God will raise up the right person to serve in ministry here. So we've, we've been without a music, director of music ministry since Karen retired and left us. And as you said last week, Jackie and everybody has just filled in tremendously well, um, yes. just on a volunteer basis. And we appreciate all of your efforts. Everything music-wise has been wonderful. But we look forward to having somebody who will give it direction and take on the burden of that responsibility. And and knows how to direct a choir. And, right. I mean, those are, those are big things. Those are hefty skills. So, yes, keep your radars out for people. Pray that the right person just sails through the door. <laughs> <laughs> Hopefully not slipping on the ice through the door. Correctly. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's see here. Our last announcement is really fun. Uh, John and Melissa Schof, as you know, moved to New Zealand. And here is some information uh, and some beautiful pictures that John sent us. So I hope you enjoy. And we miss you, 
both greatly. I hope you're having a great time in the land of the Kiwi. Those were really beautiful pictures. Stunning. Yeah, that's a beautiful, beautiful church. And we do miss you. And thank you for sending the pictures. This is YouTube. This is YouTube. We invite you to like, like subscribe, subscribe, and more cowbell. Woo! Ring, Ring the bell. bell. And share. Oh, yeah. <laughs> that too. <laughs> Have an awesome rest of the week, everyone. We'll see you Sunday. God bless. Take care. Stay warm. Stay safe. Bye-bye.